I played a little bit more of Resident Evil Village, which oh, nice. is starting to feel more like an on rails game, <laughs> very I, linear. I I'm not gonna have access to it, so I said screw it. I went online, was watching like playthroughs and stuff, and trying to get the whole story and everything. And I kind of got that sense watching people play. Like people seem to be into it, but it does feel very much like a cattle shoot. Like it moves you to yeah. the point. So, yeah, it, it it it's it very much a more generalized experience, so that it'll bring new players in. Yeah. So last week, Sean like tore it apart. He didn't like it, and you were just. I wouldn't say he tore it apart. He said if he had to score it, it was gonna be an eight out of ten. Did he say out of ten? I remember a lot yes. of grumpiness. No, because yeah. I actually made a clip that's a review discussion of you guys, and oh, he true. specifically <laughs> said eight out of ten if he had to give it a number. Okay, I think he was disappointed then. Yes. Uh, and Greg, you were just starting. Oh, and he was saying it was the least scary. That, that's where he was coming yes. really hard. Um, anyway, I came out of the... So I was wondering, Greg, if, if you were more aligned with Sean's disappointment. I mean, yes and no. Like, especially as a Resident Evil fan, it's more of a... Uh, I would say it's kind of a watered-down version of Resident Evil so far. You know, I'm I'm only a handful of hours in. Hmm. But the the experience so far, well, you're halfway I mean, through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like in 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 other Resident Evils, the you know you're you're backtracking and you're trying to figure out the puzzle at hand to advance the game, you know, in small increments, and then you get to the next se section, and then it's a number of different puzzles, and then that's how you advance the game. And then Resident Evil Four brought in this item shop where you could. Um, buy buying? different things, yeah, <laughs> and so it kind of marries the two into this game, and as well as you know, because I'm constantly searching around the level, anyways. You know, there's always hidden things to find, um, but it's very not the traditional Resident Evil experience, nor is it as deep as Resident Evil Seven so far. I mean, there's tons of ammo. I mean, there is crafting, but it just feels like it's a more accessible Resident Evil, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like I'm, I'll judge it when I roll credits and, you know, get to experience the entire story itself. So I think, you know, my opinion is, is pretty fluid at this point, but as of right now, it's just kind of like, I don't, I don't like the over overly Hollywood horror types of elements that it has. Like there's a talking doll and, mm -hmm. you know, and there's like these creatures that are, you know, like I said, remind me of the, the orcs in, in Lord of the Rings. Whereas, like, you know, Resident Evil itself is scary because this is a virus that has, like, turned people into crazy-looking creatures because, you know, some company is... is Some CD company is, like, developing these bioweapons and, and whatnot. So, I don't know. It, it, in that sense, it's, it's, like, relying on more traditional lore about you know uh cryptids and stuff than it is just i'm gonna the be Resident very Evil, curious to see what you think of where they go with the story at the end because i have my own feelings about how that played out so yeah, yeah. yeah. well it's, I'm, a, it's, I'm an old school fan of the series and yeah i would say five and six really threw it off the rails and pushed me away from it yeah so, yeah like and, and five was fun for its like you know popcorn flick aesthetic you know it was just like a game that you throw on and play but um oh, i was gonna make a point i forgot it but oh, whatever sorry. after but no, uh after last week after last week's podcast you know you guys were saying how uh um well you were just getting into it sean was disappointed and i go on my twitter feed and like all the bigger influencers you know the I like to call it kind of the old school gaming journalists that I still follow. Like it was all one after the other, just going like, I love this game, best Resident Evil. And in that moment I went, can I really trust these opinions? <laughs> uh, Cause it's like, funny. I, I find myself agreeing with Sean opinion wise a lot on, on his takes. I, I usually mean, I do too. Been a handful yeah. for the retro stuff. Uh, we disagree a lot on the retro stuff. It seems, but <laughs> Hey, I'll take disagree you with your childhood. Stuff too. <laughs> or Metroid or the or the business models of things. That's where we disagree on a lot. 